What's going on YouTube? For everyone goes here bringing you another awesome video. Today I'm bringing you an Aldnoa Zero review. You guys voted for this anime and I will be giving you a review. This is one of my favorite shows of maybe the last year or so or the year before. Definitely a great show. I will be giving you my thoughts and opinions and review on this show, giving you a rating, and of course a brief summary of the show which I have in front of me here. So let's begin. In 1972, an ancient alien hypergate was discovered on the surface of the moon. Using this technology, humanity began migrating to Mars and settling there. After settlers discovered additional advanced technology, the first empire was founded, which claimed Mars as its, as its secrets for themselves. Later, the first empire declared war on Earth, and in 1999, a battle on the moon's surface caused the hypergate to explode, shattering the moon, scattering its remnants into a depressed depre belt around the planet. Cut off from Mars, the remnants of the first imperial empire, first imperial army, established several massive orbital space stations with, within the depressed belts, and ceasefire was established. Fifteen years later... 2014, an attack on the Verse Princess during a peace mission causes the Empire and its 37 clans of orbital knights to launch a new attack on its on Earth, and this time determined to conquer it once and for all. So, pretty much, as I'm guessing, obviously not guessing, it's all facts there, is the Verse Empire discovered a planet, obviously, which is Mars, and found technology there, and it used it, and then the Verse Empire was made. So pretty much then on, the, in 1999, Earth and Mars, which is the first empire then, and it still is now, went to war. And then the, the hypergate was destroyed, shattered, which caused the moon to shatter right around the deepest belt. And pretty much that happened. And after a while, they decided to do a ceasefire right around the Earth because the knights were surrounding the planet with their stations around it, more or less, I'm guessing. And then 15 years later, in 2014, that's where the show started or began, or I'm guessing that's the year it was when the war ended or pretty much wanted to make peace. Um, the princess, which is Princess of Salem, wanted to come down to make peace. But then again, they attempted to attack her and end her life. And that's when the first empire and its 37 orbital knights went to war with Earth and they said that they wanted to take Earth and conquer it. Um, very good show. And just hearing that review and that uh, brief summary of that made me just realize what a crazy show this was going to be. So I definitely wanted to watch it. Um, what I like the most is the main characters in front of you, which is Inaho to the right and Slain to the left more with the bloody hand. That's Slain and Inaho to the right or with the chain. Um, pretty much, this show is a very, very good show. I definitely recommend it. Uh, definitely a 8.5 rating on my end. It's a good show. It's a very good show that I recommend to all those who like it. It's on Crunchyroll, uh, Netflix, maybe on Viewster as well. And definitely a top 20 show. I recommend it. If you guys haven't seen it, you definitely must watch it. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to slap a like and subscribe to my channel for more amazing content like this. And as always, guys... Stay awesome and keep watching anime. And if you guys want to see more reviews like this, make sure to leave in the comments below which review of a show do you want me to do.